Tuesday, 25th June. Welcome to Evening Prayer.
I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God our Saviour, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the everlasting Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in the newness of life, to the honour and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 94. O Lord God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, show yourself. Rise up, O judge of the world. Give the arrogant their deserts. How long shall the wicked, O Lord, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster in the insolence. All evildoers are full of boasting. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your chosen nation. They murder the widow and the stranger and put the orphans to death. Yet they say the Lord does not see. The God of Jacob takes no notice. Consider well, you dullards among the people. When will you fools understand? He that planted the air does not hear. He that formed the eyes does not see. He who admonishes the nations will not punish. He who teaches all the will has no knowledge. The Lord knows our human thoughts. How like a puff of wind they are. Happy are they whom you instruct, O Lord, whom you teach out of your law, to give them rest in evil days, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his own. For judgment will again be just, and all the true of heart will follow it. Who rose up for, for me against the wicked? Who took my part against the evil doers? If the Lord had not come to help me, I should soon have dwelt in the land of the silence. As often as I said, my foot has slipped. Your love, O Lord, upheld me. When many cares fill my mind, your consolation cheer my soul. Can a corrupt tribunal have any part with you? One which frames evil into law? They conspire against the life of the just and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my salvation. He will turn their wickedness back upon them and destroy them in their own malice. The Lord our God will destroy them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The First Reading A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in 1 Samuel chapter 6, verses 1 to 16. 
The ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. Then the Philistines said, For the priests and diviners, and said, What shall we do with the ark of the Lord? Tell us what we should send with it to its place. They said, If you send away the ark of God of Israel, do not send it empty, but by all means return it with a guilt offering. Then you will be healed and forgiven. Will not his hand then turn from you? And they said, What is the guilt offering that we shall send to him? They answered, Five gold tumors and five gold mice, according to the number of the lords of, of the Philistines. For the same plague was upon all of you and upon your lords. So you must make images of your tumors and, and images of your mice that ravage the land and give glory to God of Israel. Perhaps he will lighten his hand on you and your goods and your, la and your gods and your land. Why should you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts? After he had made fools of them, did they not go and let the people go and they departed? Now then, get ready a new cart and two milk cows that have never been born a yoke and the yoke the cows and yoke the cows to the cart but take their calves home away from them take the ark of the lord and place it on the cart and put in a box at its side the figures of gold that you are sending to him as guilt offering then send it off and let it go its way and watch if it goes up on its way to the own land, to Beth Shemesh, then it is he who has done us this great harm. But if not, then we shall know it is not his hand that struck us. It happened to us by chance. The men did so. They took two milch cows and yoked them to the cart and shut up their calves at home. They put the ark of the Lord on the cart and the box with the gold mice and the images of their tumors. The cows went straight in the direction of Beth Shemesh, along one highway. Lowing as they went, they turned neither to the right nor to the left, and the lords of the Philistines went after them as far as the border of Beth Shemesh. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were, re were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley. When they looked up and saw the ark, they went with rejoicing to meet it. The cart came into the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh and stopped there. A large stone was there, so they split the wood on of the cart and offered the cows as a burnt offering to the Lord. The Levites took down the ark of the Lord and the box beside it in which the gold objects and set them on the large stone. Then the people of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and presented sacrifices on that day to the Lord. When the five lords of the Philistines saw it, they returned that day to Ekron. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Saviour, for you have looked with favour on your lowly servant, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from the thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to help of your servant Israel. For you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Second Reading A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in Romans chapter 4, verses 1 to 12. What then are we to say was gained by Abraham, our ancestor, according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed, 
God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now, to one who works wages are not reckoned as a gift, but as something due. But to one who does not work but trust him who justifies the ungodly, such faith is reckoned as righteousness. So also David pronounces a blessing on those to whom God reckons righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose iniquities are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one against whom the Lord will not reckon sin. Is this blessing then pronounced only on the circumcised or also on the uncircumcised? We say, faith was reckoned to Abraham as righteousness. How then was it reckoned to him? Was it before or after he had been circumcised? It was not after but before he was circumcised. He received the sign of circumcision as a seal of the righteousness that he had by faith, while he was still uncircumcised. The purpose was to make him the ancestor of all who believe, without circumcised, and who thus have righteousness reckoned to them, and likewise the ancestor of the circumcised, who are not only circumcised, but follow the example of the faith that our ancestor Abraham had before he was circumcised. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffrages Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. The collect for this evening is proper seven. O oh God, our Defender, storms rage about us and cause us to be afraid. Rescue your people from despair. Deliver your sons and daughters from fear and preserve us all from unbelief. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit, and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.